Hello Mouseworks fans and welcome to another edition of Tips and Techniques and for this video it's going to be a pretty quick one and the reason for this video is that I have been using a respirator for spraying my models and model parts for a long long time and eventually the strap wore out so it was time to buy a new one and you can't buy the strap themselves because they are actually hardwired so to speak to the actual mask itself so I was going to buy a new mask. I didn't need new filters, but just the mask itself. Now, I've used a respirator basically because I don't want to use a dust mask because dust masks don't do much good. They'll stop the particles from getting in your nose and mouth, but they don't uh, stop the vapors. So using a respirator is actually a much better way to do it and uh, if you haven't used one of the modern respirators they are very comfortable they do not get in your line of sight you don't even know they're on so they are pretty handy and not too expensive either so for your health it's best to buy a respirator not use just a dust mask now i do have a spray booth that actually takes a large amount of air in and the particles are mostly drawn towards the filters it's a four filter system so it works pretty good but I still use the respirator um, at all times so that being said what this video is about is I was searching for my new face mask of part of the respirator and was gonna get the original one I have to order them online because no Lowe's and Home Depot they just carry mediums they don't carry large now I don't understand that considering most construction people have big faces kind of like mine so why not carry the large ones well anyways I went into uh, Lowe's and they were actually discontinuing most of their respirators so I don't know if there's a new one coming or what the deal is or why they they were closing them out but they were so anyways again medium size that don't fit me very well they fit right around the chin here which somewhat will give me a seal but not as well as having it of over the chin so anyway so I ordered it online and I got it in and I tried a different one and what I got is this little beauty right here now what this is is this is made by 3m and it is a uh, standard respirator it uses the same filters that were on my old respirator so I could transfer them from one to the other now these filters actually can filter almost all the way up I looked at the little chart comes with them this particular kind will actually even uh, get out of the air even anthrax it says on the instructions so these are really good filters and they are a dual stage you have a foam outside and then the charcoal one on the inside so if you get a painter's mask usually they just have the dust the the, the cotton here they don't have the charcoal or some just have the charcoal you want both anyways they hook on real easy you just twist them on and then they they pop on to any face mask so anyways the reason why I'm showing you this face mask is it's got a really really neat feature that I wasn't sure about but it turned out to be the greatest thing the reason being is I live in Arizona and it gets extremely hot in the valley like 120 degrees and it gets hot in the house no matter how much you try to cool it when you put one of these on and breathe through it for a few minutes you start to sweat and it's not hard to breathe through but it just gets very hot inside this especially because it's rubber so anyways I ended up having to take my mask on and off and on and off trying to cool off or breathe or you know talk on the video so this one intrigued me and what this one does it has a little latch on the bottom here that will actually unlatch your headband and allow the mask to fall forward and I will show you how that works now so basically you've got your headband here and you place it over your nose and mouth like so let me get off my glasses here okay this fits like a regular respirator you have the latch on the back of the neck and you pull them tight once you get this on your face there's two little tabs here that you pull to make your seal same with the back there's a little tightening thing here but what's really interesting about this is it used to be when I was needed to get some cooling I would have to take off the whole thing have to do this come out like this 
hold it, breathe a little bit deeper, put it back on. But now what I can do, and what's neat is I can do it with one hand, is this little mechanism right here, I just take my fingers and it drops like so. And then the other neat thing is I can take it with one hand, put it on my face, and snap it back on and it's sealed. So, anyways, this is a really handy thing. It's going to make me very happy because I can take it off when I'm starting to overheat. I can take it off if I need to talk to somebody. Things like that. So, anyways, that is a definite recommended item. Um, you usually have to go online. There's other brands. I just trust 3M just because they have been in the mask business for a long time. So, uh, the version of this particular mask, so everybody knows, is a 6503QL. I believe the L stands for large. Uh, it does come in different sizes and so forth. And then you do have to buy with this particular mask the filter separate. Uh, you can get the ones, the ones that have the pink cover are for painters and the ones with white cover or clear cover are for industrial use. So they will filter out more stuff. So anyways, um, as always, please subscribe to my channel. Be sure to ring the bell to get all my updates. And thanks for coming along and watching my video. And I will see you real soon.